In November 2023, a series of events shook the foundations of OpenAI and sent tidal waves through the AI community. Sam Altman, the CEO and founder of OpenAI, was fired by his own board with very little notice and information. Then, just two weeks later, he was hired straight back. The same board that fired him had just rehired him. In the next 10 minutes, we're going to explain to you exactly why this happened and how there was only one possible outcome. From the decisions that led to his firing, the drama that unfolded in between, and the secret breakthrough at the center of this storm, this is the story of OpenAI's most ambitious project to date. Ever since the founding of OpenAI on December 11, 2015, Sam Altman, known for his ambitious vision, has driven OpenAI's many successes. Within eight years of launching, their subscription count has grown to over 100 million subscribers, while being on pace to make over 1 billion in annual revenue by the end of 2023. But amidst all of this success, there was a problem. It all centered around the ethical dilemma that AI technology presents to humankind. While extremely useful, the idea of AI becoming autonomous and self-learning also known as Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI, has brought fear to many that it could lead to the extinction of humankind. Not only that, but its impact on the working class could lead to job losses in the millions that the government simply can't support. But while this outcome is highly possible, OpenAI has often stressed that it is against its mission. This mission was reaffirmed by Sam Altman himself, but as it turns out, the reality of what was going on deep inside the company contradicted this exact same thing. This began to surface when the news of Altman's firing broke on November 17th, 2023, sending ripples through the tech world. Let's talk about the big news there. As reported by Reuters and The Verge, this decision came after what OpenAI described as a deliberative review process by the board. The abruptness of the dismissal, coupled with the lack of transparency from the board, fueled widespread speculation and confusion. The reasons behind this dramatic decision were shrouded in mystery, with OpenAI offering little explanation, leaving many to wonder about the underlying causes of this sudden shift. Many outsiders believed the board's sudden decision to fire Altman hinted at deeper issues within OpenAI's governance and safety. According to a New York Magazine article, the board, which once aligned with Altman's vision, had grown increasingly concerned with his approach. There were whispers of disagreements over the direction of the company, with some board members reportedly feeling that Altman was not consistently open in his communications, hindering their ability to exercise their responsibilities effectively. In the wake of this unexpected turn of events, the question on everyone's mind was, what would the future hold for OpenAI without Sam Altman at the helm? And perhaps more intriguingly, what had led to such a drastic decision by the board? Is there a possibility that AGI had already been created, but the concerns were pushed down? As we'll see later in the video, they're not far from the truth. If you're enjoying the video, please drop us a like and let us know in the comments what you think about the Sam Altman firing. While the exact details have yet to surface, reports of a secret project have been leaked. This was followed by the abrupt firing of Sam Altman, sending shockwaves through OpenAI, triggering a series of reactions. Altman's initial reaction to his firing was marked by disbelief. He tweeted, I love you all. Today was a weird experience in many ways, but one unexpected one is that it has been sorta of like reading your own eulogy while you're still alive. This was also mirrored by many within OpenAI and the tech community over the sudden ouster of such a prominent figure in AI. Employees, many of whom had seen Altman as a visionary leader, were left in a state of shock and confusion. This unrest soon manifested into a series of resignations. Greg Brockman, the company's longtime president and co-founder, announced his departure, followed by three senior researchers, including the director of research, Jakub Pachocki, and head of preparedness, Alexander Madri. Then, on November 18th, more murky details emerged from an internal memo that resulted from the management team trying to get details from the board. It stated, We can say definitively that the board's decision was not made in response to malfeasance or anything related to our financial, business, safety or security or privacy practices. This was a breakdown in communication between Sam and the board, a nothing phrase that did little to illuminate the real issues. 
Shortly after, on November 20th, in an unprecedented move, hundreds of OpenAI employees, including key figures like former interim CEO Mira Murati and now former board member Ilya Sutskeva, signed an open letter. This letter, a bold demand for the board's resignation, underscored the depth of the employees' discontent. <laughs> they threatened to leave the company for jobs at Microsoft unless Altman was reinstated, highlighting the profound impact of his leadership on the workforce. The letter gained a total of 660 votes from the 770 employees employed at OpenAI. In the days following his dismissal, Altman found himself in negotiations with Microsoft and was hired on November 20th, just three days after being fired from OpenAI. Then, on November 21st, in an unexpected late-night development, OpenAI announced that they had reached a preliminary agreement for Sam Altman to resume his role as CEO. Accompanying Altman's reinstatement, the company's newly formed provisional board was set to feature notable figures including Brett Taylor, former CEO of Salesforce, Larry Summers, ex-US Secretary of the Treasury, and Adam D'Angelo, the founder of Quora. This was finalized on November 29th, just 12 days after OpenAI fired Altman, with the company formally announcing that it had hired him back. The board, initially resistant to reinstating Altman, faced increasing pressure from internal investors, such as Microsoft, and the looming threat of mass resignations from the company's employees. Which brings up the question, why was the board so hesitant to bring him back, and why did they fire him in the first place? Enter QSTAR. But before we dive straight into QSTAR and its remarkable advancements in AI and how it will destroy GPT-4, it's never been easier to start a business than right now. AI has lowered the bar for starting a business beyond what was imaginable a few years ago. We're about to launch a new book that teaches you to start any business with AI. If you want to join the waitlist and get the pre-launch discount, join our AI newsletter with the link in the description. When you join the newsletter, you'll also get our five-part prompting course completely free. Back to QSTAR. Little has been revealed, leaving us to wonder about the highly ambitious project known as QSTAR. What is QSTAR really? And could it have had an impact on Sam Altman's firing? QSTAR, first brought into the limelight by a Reuters report in November 2023, was not just another incremental step in AI development. It was described internally as a breakthrough that could potentially pave the way to artificial general intelligence, otherwise known as AGI. The technical underpinnings of QSTAR, though not fully disclosed, are rumored to intertwine Q-learning with a start search algorithms, a fusion that could revolutionize how AI systems process and understand complex tasks. This integration hints at a sophisticated method of navigating through language and reasoning steps, potentially employing a technique known as Tree of Thoughts Reasoning. Tree of Thoughts Reasoning is a groundbreaking approach where an AI model generates a tree of reasoning paths, leading to potentially more accurate conclusions. This method, involving the chunking of reasoning steps, could significantly advance large language model training. Furthermore, the concept of Process Reward Models, or PRM, has emerged from this approach. Traditionally, the systems used reinforcement learning from human feedback, which involves scoring the entire response generated by a language model by humans. This method, while effective in certain contexts, has its limitations. It restricts the ability of reinforcement learning techniques to discern the value of individual components within a text, potentially overlooking the nuances of language and reasoning. PRM, in contrast, introduces a more precise approach to AI training. Instead of evaluating an entire response in one go, PRM focuses on assigning scores to individual subcomponents of the text. This fine-grained method allows for a deeper understanding and optimization of specific elements within a language model's output, leading to more accurate and sophisticated AI responses. This method not only improves the accuracy of the model, but also its ability to reason and process information in a way that's more akin to human cognition. This development of QSTAR was not just a technological milestone, it was likely a pivotal factor in the dramatic firing of Sam Altman. The board, battling with the ethical and safety implications of such a powerful AI tool, found themselves fearing its outcomes. While QSTAR represented a remarkable leap in AI's capabilities, 
It also embodied the quintessential double-edged sword of technological progress. The fear was not just about the capability, but also about its potential to operate beyond human control, a concern held by many AI experts and researchers. The first echoes of this possibility have been seen with the QSTAR project being able to answer novel mathematical problems it has not had any exposure to. It can infer based on greater principles it's already learned. This is considered one of the foundations of higher species intelligence, marking a pivotal shift in the capabilities of the AI. Sam Altman had to return to OpenAI so he could lead the company to their goal of AGI. The QSTAR project is the next milestone to fall in pursuit of this aim. Without him, all the key and important researchers would have left, resulting in OpenAI failing as a company. On the day of Sam Altman's firing, they were about to close a deal that would value the company at $86 billion. Investors immediately started to back away from the deal, which would have crippled the young AI company. Sam Altman returned, and the relentless march towards AGI continues. For more insights into the ever-evolving world of artificial intelligence, and to join the conversation about the future of technology and its impact on society, subscribe to Tectonic Shift. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and share this video to keep the dialogue going.